What are network prefixes? A range of IP addresses is given as a prefix. A prefix is nothing but an aggregation of network addresses. An IPv4 address has 32 bits. The prefix portion of the IPv4 address is that portion that does not change across the same L2 network. With the example shown on the screen, we have the prefix 192.0.2. Dot two dot one twenty eight slash twenty seven. We see that the prefix portion is twenty seven bits and the host's bits is five. With this example, we are going to figure out how many addresses are available and what the highest and lowest IP addresses are. The number of host bits is five. You derive this by subtracting twenty seven bits for the prefix length from the possible number of bits available in the IP address. Since you have 5 bits for the host, the number of IP addresses available will be 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 addresses. So how do you calculate the lowest and the highest available IP addresses of this prefix? Remember that the prefix length is a slash 27. This means that the first 27 bits are fixed. As you can see on the screen, the first available IP address will be 192.0.2.128, and it's only the five bits for the host that are going to be changing. So the first available IP address is going to have all zeros as the lowest available IP address. Remember that you're converting eight bits an IPv4 address is indicated with four octets of decimal. So the last decimal available will be 1000000, zero, 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 which is 128 in decimal. So the first available IP address will be 192.0.2.128. Similarly, the highest address will be 192.0.2.159. How do you arrive at 159? Remember that it's only the five hosts with bits that are changing. In this case, all bits will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So if you convert 100111111, it's going to give you 159. As you can see on the screen, it's only the host bits that are changing in red. The prefix bits remain the same. So, what are the IPv4 golden rules? All hosts on the same L2 network must share the same prefix. This was mentioned earlier. That means the prefix portion of the IPv4 address in the same L2 network does not change. All hosts with the same prefix also have a different host part. In the previous example, you saw that the five host bits are the ones that are changing. Host part of all zeros and all ones are reserved. Host part of all zeros is considered a network address, and all ones is considered a broadcast address. So, the golden rules for the prefix 192.0.2.128/27. The lowest address available is 192.0.2.128. That's the first address, and it's also considered a network address. The highest address available is 192.0. .2.159, which is the broadcast address. So you see that the usable addresses are going to be 192.0.2.129 to 192.0.2.158. So the number of usable addresses is going to be 32 minus 2, which is 30. So we're going to give you an exercise. We're going to give you this network prefix of 10.10.10.0 slash 25. We want to know how many addresses are available in total and how many usable addresses that you have and what are the lowest and the highest usable addresses. We're going to give you a hint. Remember, a network address that we are given has the prefix portion and the host portion. In this address, you have seven bits for the host portion as shown on the screen. So the first one, IP address that's going to be available, you can see it's going to be in all green. So you have the seven bits 
for the host, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, which is going to be the lowest. And the highest, as we said earlier, is going to be all ones. So with a prefix length of 25, first 25 bits are fixed. Okay, so we'll go through the exercise with the network prefix 10.10.10.0 slash 25, like we sh showed you on the previous slide. The number of host bits is 7, which is derived from 32 minus 25 bits for the prefix length. So the number of addresses available will be 2 to the power of 7, which is 128. So how many usable addresses that you have? Remember that network and broadcast addresses are unusable. These are two IP addresses. So the number of usable addresses will be 128 minus 2, which is 126. What are the lowest and the highest usable addresses? Remember the first address, which is the network address, will be 10.10.10.0. And the last IP address, which is the broadcast address, will be 10.10.10.127. Both of them are unusable. So the first usable IP address will be 10.10.10.1 and the last usable IP address will be 10.10.10.126. We're going to talk about an edge case. How many usable IP addresses do you have in a slash 30 prefix? What is a slash 30 used for? Remember that modern routers support slash 31 for this purpose to reduce IPv4 address wastage. Okay, if you have a slash 30 prefix, the number of host bits, remember, will be 32 minus 30, which is 2. The number of addresses available will be 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. Number of usable addresses, remember, is 4 minus 2, which is 2. You subtract 2 because the network and broadcast addresses are unusable. So why do we use a slash 30? We use slash 30s for point to point links.